we are the Kennedys, the Kennedys. <laughs> and um, this is our exclusive mini gig for Americana UK. We're very happy to do this. Um, Americana uh, UK debuted our latest video from our, our newest album, Headwinds, a few months ago. And, um, and they've been very supportive. We're going to do a few songs for you. Mm -hmm. uh, one old song and then a couple of newer songs. And the old one is a song that got a, a good amount of airplay in England when we first went over there. Yeah, this reminds me of the great tours. Well, then, you know, we had been touring for a while as side people, but then with this album, we started going over on our own and just such a great audience over there. Yeah, oh, over there. So this is uh, um, over there. from our second album, actually, and it's called Life is Large.
the first time we ever toured in England, you went over to England before we met, mm -hmm. back in 92 or 91. Yeah, 91 was the first time I toured over. And there. what were you doing over there? I uh, was playing in the Blue Moon Orchestra with uh, Nancy Griffith. Yeah, and then uh, by the following year, I joined the band. And we both went over. And we were both in the band and we both opened for her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Those were, in fact, our very first gig ever as a duo, opening for Nancy or playing anywhere, was in Southport. Southport. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did play it all over. All over England. All over England. Yeah. Doing... Um, do an opening act and then be playing in the Blue Moon Orchestra too. And our um, association with Nancy goes back 30 years, but we, we uh, even when we left the band and struck out on our own, we reconnected with her many, many times in the studio, on stage, um, co-writing, and we even um, produced her last album. We drove our studio down to Nashville because she didn't want to go into a studio anymore. She was kind of a homebody by then. <clears throat> and so we said, well, why don't we bring our studio down to you? And we set it up on the top floor of her house. So we would um, record up there and Nancy would kind of um, come up slowly. She still have her slippers on and a cup of tea mm -hmm. and uh, record some stuff and then, and then go back down again. And it was a really, really wonderful experience. I'm going to segue right into this next song because I wrote this right after Nancy Griffith died, um, right down the hill from where we are right now. Uh, between uh, us and the Hudson River is a, a little path in the woods and I was walking through the woods just about a month after she died and feeling nostalgic <clears throat> and wrote the song for her. It's called Late September Breeze.
That's for Nancy. We miss her. Yeah. Well, um, if you think about Americana music, I always loved um, the fact that Americana music, so in, in America, they kind of condense it and make it seem like it's just sort of like a country form. Mm -hmm. But Americana is, there's a lot going on in Americana. There's, mm -hmm. there's American blues roots music. and roots and gospel music, too. And uh, we're going to do a song that's kind of a gospel song, but it's not religious. Yeah, where, where I, I grew up uh, kind of in the South, in Virginia, and there was uh, especially a lot of bluegrass music, but also a lot of country, kind of honky-tonk, old-time country. But the bluegrass groups would always uh, end with a gospel song. And uh, there was also a lot of gospel music coming out of Washington, D.C. Um, and I heard, I heard that stuff all around. And I wanted to write a song like that, but I didn't want it to be specifically religious. But I thought, um, I came up with the idea of making it about nature. Yeah. Because you could celebrate, you could even worship nature. Uh, but well, we're all part of it. In any case, you undeniably. can celebrate it because you're part of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely part of it. And um, so that's what this song is about. It's a celebration of nature, and um, it's called The Woods in the Wild. It's, well, you, I, I should mention, it's from our Headwinds album. Yeah, like the last album. song, too. Yeah, like the last song. Sorry. One, two, three. <laughs> Some 
Pete wrote that song. It's a great song, Pete, that you wrote there. And um, <clears throat> I should also also mention that starting at the very first week of the pandemic shutdown, we started doing weekly live streams. And um, when we did that first one, we only did it, we had never done a live stream before. We did it because um, we figured, well, we're out of work this weekend, but no one else can go out either. So why not just play some music at home and pipe it out and see if anybody is interested. Just for a week or two while the pandemic thing is going on. So we were really surprised at how many people tuned in. And we said, well, this is great. You know, um, if by chance the pandemic is still going on next week, <laughs> we'll do it again and we'll do all different songs. That was our vow. You know, we're going to do all different songs, except we had a theme song. And um, that was the only one that we repeated for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, but then the pandemic kept going, kept going. And after a few months, we went through all of our material, like every song that we'd ever written. And then we started playing every song we'd ever learned by other people. And then the pandemic kept going. So we started doing um, specialty shows where we would honor certain songwriters. I think I know we did a, an early Nancy Griffith, a couple of Nancy Griffith shows before she even passed. We did some a Bob Dylan tribute and a number of Beatles tributes by year. and. Um, a Motown show, a California country rock show, which was really cool, um, like that. So anyway, I mention this because if you like the music, all those shows, there's 149 of them to date, are available online to watch for free anytime you want on our YouTube channel. And you can find it if you just go to, go to our regular webpage and you'll find a, a link, kennedysmusic.com, and you'll find a link to that. Let's, I think we should do one more song, though. Okay. Undo a rave up. Yeah. Let's do uh, Midnight Ghost. Okay. <clears throat> I love this song because it really shows off Pete's guitar playing. It's based on a book by Jack Kerouac called The Dharma Bums. Um, and in, in that book, he hops on a freight train right at the beginning of the book and um, the go up to go up the coast of California. And the train is called The Midnight Ghost. One, two, three. We caught a fast freight called the Midnight Ghost. We huddled in our blanket, sharing coffee in a tin, and thought about New York as a cold grab Working on our karma, take it as it comes. Spinning out the dharma in the cold gray sun. The wind is always with us when we need it the most. Riding shotgun on a train called the
Thanks to Americana UK for having us on this mini gig. We really enjoyed ourselves and we yeah. hope you like the music. We're the Kennedys. See ya.